Thank you. Well, should students, athletes as well be driving teammates to away games? That is something that parents in Montgomery County are concerned about. They say in Maryland's largest school district, this should not be the norm. Let's get right over to Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez, who is live at Magruder High School with more details. Stephanie. And actually, uh, Blair High School is going to be playing Magruder tonight. Football game starting at 6.30. Football is such a huge sport. We do expect the opposing team to be arriving by bus. But some Magruder field hockey and lacrosse parents raising the red flag say it is not the same for all high school sports across the county. In fact, one parent testified about this at the last school board meeting, arguing that it's a safety and equity concern. That parent's daughter is now a college freshman. She says when she was a student athlete here at Magruder, she told Fox 5 over Zoom that there were buses in her early years for away games, but not these past two years, which also coincides with the major bus driver shortages seen across the country. The car rides were always fun, could be seen as bonding opportunities, but they definitely, it was definitely annoying. And I would talk to my, like, why is this on us um, to get them there, especially with the younger girls when we, they had um, JV games that were earlier than our games, we had to be there even earlier to make sure that those girls got to their games because they couldn't drive. I felt like a, under a lot of pressure last year um, with my team and I don't want, I want that space to feel safe for everyone involved. Now, parents say this has been a practice since before the pandemic, but apparently an accident last year prompted more to speak out. The school system says they understand the concern. They noted that the flexibility does work better for some parents, but they also say they do have buses available, assuming there's enough drivers and vehicles. It's just that MCPS cannot transport athletes between 145 and 445 because that's when they're taking kids home. Parents say it also depends on whether their school requested the bus in time or if other parents aren't around to organize carpools, then it falls on the students. Terry Kramer says she's concerned for her daughter also driving teammates because they're inexperienced drivers. This year for the first time, I know that our coaches are now offering to drive players, which I think puts coaches in an uncomfortable situation that they have to be driving players to games. So, yeah, it's it is shocking and frustrating that in Montgomery County, this is our situation. And the school spokesperson told me that buses, uh, sports boosters, young drivers, that they are so helpful in transportation matters, that that's the reason why so many of their athletes are able to participate. Now, after we asked the school system about this today, a parent actually did just text me now to say that they got word there will be a change, that away buses will be provided for all field hockey games this way. But it's one way we're working to confirm that now, guys. Back to you.